Okay, I clicked the button. We're recording now. Hey everyone, welcome to the Thursday, October 28th Enhancement Subproject Periodic Meetings. We haven't had one in a while. Um, if you're joining us today, uh, feel free to add your name to the agenda. Thanks, Don Bruden, for adding it to the chat. Uh, if you're watching this at a later time, uh, feel free to come next time and bring any topics that you might want to discuss. Uh, I think the first item that we wanted to talk about was the kept website idea and work that had started on that and has kind of been languishing. Um, Kirsten was going to lead discussion on that, but she couldn't make it today. Uh, so Navarun, do you want to chat about that at all? Any yeah, sure. ideas around that? Okay. Uh, so I think we are at a junction where we just need a consensus on whether we want to own the bucket or not. My personal opinion is we should because yeah, I agree. this is the Kev's manifest bucket. I went there, since I did not see any response from anyone, uh, I just went there and thought like, okay, if there needs to be a person who, like if Aaron needs a person, mm -hmm. I can be that person um, because I have been involved with the Kev's website thing, like thought process and how to do it since last year. So I'm completely fine, like taking point on it, um, owning the bucket, uh, owning the tooling which pushes to the bucket and reads from the bucket. I have no issues. So in case uh, the sub project is willing, uh, it's fine with me. Um, I do like Stephen's uh, suggestion as well that uh, all Kept Tools reviewer can, reviewers can be part of that. Uh, so I saw that Aaron when he created the I am. Yeah, uh, the basically the allies group and who who owns that get it all uh, enhancements project owners and he just wanted a single one or two names who are to be on point apart from that list. Yeah, so I think that that kind of drives like the owner's file, right? And the yeah, who will have the actual authority and the responsibility. Yeah, they don't have any owner's file per se. They would like, okay, this is the GCS bucket. It's owned by uh, this particular IAM account with this email ID. And this specific okay. email IDs are uh, delegated to that uh, role. So that's what I understood from the data content. Thing. So I guess we just need to go there and act that, hey, whatever you did is right. We agree with the bucket team. We agree with the permissions. Please go ahead and unhold the PR and merge it. From there on, I can talk to Shaker again uh, if Shaker is willing um, to continue the work on because he did the part of the work which pulls a certain manifest from a particular location and put it on the website. And I believe that work is really good at this point in time. It's good reusable work. We can iterate beyond that. Uh, as a base that is perfect. What we, the next thing, what we need to do, we have to find, we have to write a periodic job for K enhancements. Uh, by periodic, I meant like the website need not be updated like after every push, I, I believe. It can be like every day or every six hours once. It's not that, uh, should not be that frequent. Need not be that frequent actually. We can make it frequent. Uh, Basically, write a periodic job which runs some capsicle command to put everything into a JSON and put it to the bucket. That's all. Um, I can help writing it. I can write it myself. It can be a single shell script. Uh, some dash foo would be needed. So that's what I feel. Where is the work? Uh, where the work is left off right now and what is left in order to achieve a kept website which is beneficial for the community. So yeah, what do you all think? I think this sounds good. Um, I don't have bandwidth to work on any of that right now, but I think it sounds good. Yeah, I agree. Um, I missed several meetings, so I'm kind of out of context, but it does sound good. So uh, can the action item be, I will go there and comment on the creatives.io pull request on behalf of the sub-project that we discussed about it. Please go ahead and merge it. We can so. iterate on stuff later on. Yeah. 
and just ensure that all the capitals reviewers email IDs are there on the list. Yeah, and I, I think that's take, take take this up with Aaron. Make it so. Yeah. Th thanks. I just wanted the sub project not to act on behalf of the sub project. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, sir. Okay, so the other topics, uh, the README, um, and Arsh wanted to talk about the linting, also couldn't make it today. Um, let's talk about the linting thing first, so we can make sure we cover it before we rabbit hole into the, the README stuff. So if anybody, oh, go ahead. Actually, I had a small look at it, what mm -hmm. Ilana is suggesting. It's actually pretty cool um, for everyone. It would yeah. make things more uniform. Just that I think we don't we don't have the discipline. We as in whoever is writing dev does not have the discipline to, even if they don't have con content for that section, just write not available or not applicable instead like we remove the section and i have been also guilty of this yeah yeah i agree on the, on the record so even if the receipts kept kept on like removing stuff right which were not relevant and instead of writing not applicable yeah, so yeah. this will induce like more discipline so just need to get it and should we do it I, I think it's oh go ahead sorry sorry i was gonna say like i believe there's an issue out um where aaron has a list of of current cups that don't align to the current templates so i'll try to find it i'll add it here yeah i think it's part of the uh the work he was doing with uh, like updating cap ctl to make it past the lint check like the actual lint checks that happen in on the server side, uh, he had to update like a ton of stuff. And that was just around the PRR related things. So there's probably a ton more that we need to ensure that there's more relevant updates checking happening for folks. So I think this is a good idea. Um, Again, I don't have bandwidth to work on it right now. So we could put this as a good first issue for someone to pick up or help wanted. If folks are interested in that. I, I'm assuming since that Ash is bringing this up, not signing yeah. him up, but I'm assuming he has interest. But let's yeah. ask him. Yeah, yeah, we can follow up with him because I think that's probably why he asked about it. But we'll uh, we'll not commit him without verifying. If he's not willing, like we can hash out the steps and put it as help wanted. Maybe like many people would be there. Okay. Help, help out in this. That sounds good. Okay, and then our last item is the one readme to rule them all. We currently have two readmes. One is the top level, and then one is in the keps directory. Do we really need two readmes? And if so, clarify if we need two readmes, and if so, what should go where? Let's take a look at both of them. Looking at these two things, <laughs> I kind of feel like you could combine those into one and it could probably live at the top level of the repo because then it's easier to find. People don't have to miss, oh, I have to click down into the caps directory to find this other readme. Yeah, I also agree. It could be combined and just going to be at the enhancements level, or top level. 
I think Navarin same thumbs thoughts. up. Okay. Yeah, same thoughts. It should be all of that information should go to doctor. Cool, cool. So let's make an action item here to. We think this should be one. Open an issue and document. I'll take that action item to document the item, not to collapse the two regions. But I'll do the same thing where we can tag it with help wanted and good first issue. If anyone's interested in that one. All right. Any other topics that folks would like to bring up? Anyone want to introduce themselves to the group if they've never been here before? Sure. Uh, am I audible? Just want to check. Yeah. yeah. Looks like I, so, uh, hi everyone. Um, so I'm. This is my first time uh, attending one of these uh, SIG meetings. Um, cool. So um, I'm Avinash from uh, Bengaluru, India, um, and I work as a DevOps engineer at uh, Hashgen. I've just uh, graduated from college, and it's been a few months I've started uh, in this field. Yeah, so I'm excited to be here. Uh, I'm just looking around, uh, um, just attending different uh, SIG meetings, and then trying to find out which one, uh, which one is most interesting for me, and trying to contribute there. Oh, yeah, cool. this Welcome. also looks pretty interesting. Yeah, there's tons of uh, tons of variety within the project of things to contribute to, um, and tons of ways to to start contributing, like doing a README update if you want to do a quick and easy one to get a couple of PRs under your belt. Well, I actually got to start with a few doc updates, so I think oh, awesome. I'm gonna get started with some code uh, changes now. Yeah, nice. So we, uh, we haven't met in a little while. Hopefully our meeting frequency resumes. Um, I think we, for a while, just for some background, we're looking uh, pretty heavily into like how we can improve the process kind of vis-a-vis -vis the release process. Because um, enhancements are a thing they happen, you know, there's an ongoing def like creation of enhancements and enhancements are how changes come into Kubernetes. So we're kind of looking at the process for like the structure of what those things look like and um, what tooling we can build to do automation and validation of those sort of things. And then there's a really strong relationship to the release. Ray is the current release lead. Um, and looking at how those things end up landing into the, the release cycle itself and what kind of processes around how we collect those things from the release perspective. Like how do we make sure that Somebody's going to opt this release or this enhancement into a specific release. How do we make sure that all of the pieces that need to connect, like pull requests and docs updates, are done for that? Um, just to make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and drawn correctly. So it's a lot of what the this, this sub project is is focused on, just for some more awareness. So do you all meet uh, every Thursdays or uh, Tuesdays? Uh, every second Thursday we meet. Okay. In theory. Yeah. Okay. The theory. Uh, calendar description mentions Tuesday, so that was a bit confusing. Oh, is that in uh, the community page? So the I've added it uh, as a calendar on my Google Calendar. So in that description, it mentions Tuesday, although the <laughs> date is for Thursday. So All right. We'll, have to, we'll need to update that one too. Let's put that in the notes. Cool. Well, if uh, nobody has any other topics to bring up or discussion items, we'll end a little early today and give people back a little bit of time for their evening and their, their mornings. And everybody, I hope you have a great rest of your week and you stay safe out there and we'll see you next time. All right, thank you. Bye everyone. Bye.